Howdy fellow outlaws and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a surefire way to quickly complete the collect three Capitale notes daily so that going forward, you don't have to waste your time with multiple blood money crime missions. As a rank 900 player with over 5,000 hours in Red Dead Online, I consider my time in game to be of the utmost importance. So whenever I find a new way to save myself some of that time, I like to share it with the broader community to help others do the same. That being said, let's get right to the video. So, what is the best way to complete this daily quickly? If you guessed Jeb Phelps Contract Part 2, you're right. But if you didn't already know, in this mission, there are four Capitale notes in the lockbox on top of the cabin you're supposed to burn. If you've already got Jeb Phelps 2 ready to go, congratulations, you're a step ahead of the game. If you don't already have it queued up, hang with me for a few moments. But regardless, whether you have part 2 already queued up or not, there is something every player should do first. The first step for any player to complete this challenge quickly is to double check your current Capitale count by going to your satchel and looking at how many you have in your valuables. If you have more than 46 Capitale notes, make sure you complete one of the three blood money opportunity missions to use some of them. Do this first. Otherwise, with 50 notes being the max you can carry, you won't get credit for completing the challenge. Once you've completed your opportunity mission and used up some of your Capitale, or if you never had too many Capitale notes to begin with, simply visit any blood money mission giver, Anthony Foreman, James Langton, Joe, or Sean, and select Jeb Phelps too. Then head to Butcher's Creek, climb the ladder on this side of the cabin, make your way to the front, and pull the Capitale from the lockbox to complete the challenge. From there, whatever you do, don't complete this mission successfully. I repeat, do not complete this mission successfully. Like, ever again. That way, when this daily comes back around next time, you'll have Jeb Phelps 2 ready to go, and you can complete the challenge more quickly. Burn the cabin or don't, fight off Butcher Creekians or don't, ride away and enjoy the peace of a solo lobby for the next 20 minutes. You can even completely log out of the game like I did. At this point, the choice is yours, but whatever you do, don't complete the mission successfully. Now, what if you don't already have Jeb Phelps Contract 2 ready to go? Then, you'll need to spend a little more time today to set yourself up for success down the road. Simply complete whatever parts of the contract you need to complete to get Jeb Phelps 2 queued up. As you can see in the video, on the day I filmed this, I had to first complete Jeb Phelps Part 1. But once Part 1 was complete, I was able to return immediately to a blood money mission giver and start Part 2 without a cooldown. If you're unlucky enough to have Jeb Phelps 3 queued up, you may need to wait out a cooldown before starting Part 1 to get to Part 2. But once Part 2 is queued up, follow the steps I outlined in the previous part of the video to complete this daily challenge quickly remembering not to complete the mission successfully, or you'll put yourself right back in the same situation. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you want more content like this in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button and set the notifications to all. Hopefully you'll join me again sometime soon. Until then, take care.